Ever wondered just how Amazon has been keeping up with being able to constantly deliver products to their customers within a two-day, um, no, scratch that, now one-day timeline successfully? Thanks to the introduction of enhanced technology, delivery for a bewildering number of consumer goods is now not only conceivable, but essentially standard. In today's video, we take a look inside Amazon's fast shipping system. How it all started before Prime launched in 2005, one-day shipping was too far-fetched. Now it is the standard shipping speed for Amazon's 100 million Prime members. Since 2015, Amazon has been making use of a mind-blowing technological invention known as Deep Learning AI. What I mean in simple terms is it's an algorithm that assesses the category of products that are likely to be requested by a specific group of people on a specific date or at a specific time. The algorithm recognizes specifically what is in trend, products consumers need the most, products that may be in use during a particular season, and the like. This therefore enables Amazon to prepare almost, if not everything, their customers might need at different periods in time. Since 2019, Amazon has begun to double the speed of Prime shipping from two days to one, and the faster speed is now available on more than 10 million products. During an interview with CNBC, Simeon Siegel, a retail analyst at Nomura Instanet, said, Amazon has changed the game completely, so what they excel at is getting an object from a creator to a consumer as flawlessly as they can and as quickly as they can. So Amazon is changing people's expectations and they are perpetually improving those expectations. Yearly, Amazon spends billions of dollars on shipping and in the last quarter of 2018, Amazon's shipping costs increased by 23%, reaching a record of $9 billion. When a CNBC reporter asked Amazon senior VP of worldwide operations Dave Clark whether such a move was worth it, he said, customers come to expect expect consistent fast delivery of anything on earth from Amazon, and our job is to continue to make that happen. This is exactly why Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos said himself, Customers all over the world, they are divinely discontent. You give them the best service you can, they love it, but they always want a little bit more. Amazon then stored $800 million just in the second quarter to start making one-day shipping the standard. The majority of that investment accounts for costs related to infrastructure and transportation to accelerate delivery to the increasing number of Prime customers by relying on other postal services such as UPS, DHL, etc. Amazon, however, thought to take a step towards controlling this process better and the large costs that came with it by first halting its reliance on these postal services and then substantially investing in its its own network of logistics. Before you order, I already mentioned earlier that Amazon uses a particular AI known as the algorithm in order to detect products that will be requested by customers at a particular time. Let's get deeper into this process. Take one of Amazon's most ordered clothing items, a winter coat, as an example. Say you need winter coats to prepare for the season. How will Amazon deliver the coats to your door the following day? Well, thanks to this fantastic algorithm, your coat journey has begun before you even thought to purchase it. Popularly needed items are already packed and made available in stock in the warehouse. So in the case of your winter coats, Amazon's algorithm already recognizes the winter season and surely anticipates customers like you who take early precautionary measures to prepare for the season. So before the chill begins to rush in, Amazon already has winter clothes and protective gear in stock for you. Amazing, yeah? The Fulfillment Center after the algorithm process, the products which have already been identified by this AI are moved to a place known as the Fulfillment Center. Thanks to this amazing retail enterprise, there are already about 175 gigantic fulfillment centers across the globe. And since Amazon plans to construct more of these, you can bet that a warehouse within a day's drive of you will undoubtedly contain a winter coat. Take it from me, inside those fulfillment centers is where the true magic occurs. Millions of items are stored here, many of them quite obviously owned by Amazon. But surprisingly, more than half of the products that are stored here belong to other manufacturers. The FBA, fully known as the Fulfillment by Amazon program, was introduced in 2006 as a means for other businesses to benefit from Amazon's outstanding shipping service. This program enables small businesses to pay Amazon for the logistics, thereby fully reaching their customers' potential and ultimate satisfaction. Companies like DHL and UPS, whom Amazon used to rely on for logistics before, now turn to Amazon for logistics assistance. 
resistance. So, a winter coat manufacturer, to follow our example, does not have to worry about constructing their fulfillment centers and logistics operation. They just pay Amazon to do it for them. This means that if you order an item, just know and rest assured that the item has been sent to Amazon to ensure that you receive your orders quickly. How all of these products are packed and stored at the fulfillment center is even more astonishing, and I've got all the details for you. The Storing and Picking Process you might imagine that in large warehouses, products would be stored sectionally. For instance, all winter coats will be arranged in one section, but that is not the case in Amazon's warehouse. In fact, items are stored at random. When a shipment of, say, 100 winter coats arrives in a truck from the manufacturer at Amazon's fulfillment center, each will be stored in any available space on the shelf. Okay, okay, I know you may be wondering just how then would they be able to get the items when needed as soon as possible. Now listen, the location of these items is carefully recorded on the computer. This means that when you click on the buy now icon for your winter coat, a bot or a human picker is tasked to walk to the location of the coat. Statistically at least, if every item is stored at random, there is a very high chance that one of the 100 winter coats is likely to be nearby and easily reachable. You may have read or heard rumors about how Amazon employees are required to travel miles of warehouse floors to pick up products. Well, that isn't so, at least not anymore, and I'll tell you why. Robotic Intervention as of 2012, robots have played a bigger role in the picking process, to the point where, in most fulfillment centers now, the shelves move to the human picker for any products that need to be picked or stored. Amazon purchased robotics company Kiva for $775 million and began utilizing robots in its fulfillment centers and warehouse a few years later. Again, using the winter coat example, it can be picked up by one of these bots in about 15 minutes, as opposed to up to an hour by a human picker. Additionally, there are now robots that can move merchandise lift pallets and boxes using robotic arms, and even package goods in custom design boxes. In a way to further establish a faster picking process, Amazon introduced wristbands which are to be worn by the workers whilst in the warehouse. This gadget vibrates to tell them where the item is, where exactly on the shelf to grab it to store a product. The result? It's encouraged the workers to speed up their work process with sophisticated interfaces that gamify their jobs. Damn, that I'd have to walk, and I'd much rather be up here in my own little world picking, then walking up and down. So I love the robotic. The Sortation Center and Shipping after being picked, an item will subsequently be sent to a location known as the sortation center. Here, millions of outgoing shipments are successfully sorted according to postal address by a variety of robots, which are believed to be approximately 100,000. According to reports, delivery rate rose after Amazon switched from using human sorters to a robot-led operation, and delivery turnaround time followed suit. It is fantastic to watch how the items are sorted and packaged. It's like a large playground for a package. There are conveyor belts that go round. There are slides too. It all looks like a lot of fun to me. While some items are being shipped out using one of the delivery giants, Amazon is now saving money by sending shipments in at least 300 of its semi-trucks and now dozens of its airplanes. In a conversation with CNBC, Amazon Senior Vice President of Worldwide Operations Dave Clark says, We have been building out an air network for several years now. That coupled with our partners' networks, we are in a place where we have a lot of incremental capacity to be able to advance packages packages for customers much faster than we were two or three years ago. Amazon currently provides ocean cargo services between the United States and China and owns at least 50 airplanes, 300 semi-trucks, and 20,000 delivery vans. Last Mile Delivery once an item gets delivered close to your city, it waits in another warehouse similar to this one, until a delivery guy comes by to pick it up and bring it to your doorstep. Anyone who is well acquainted with logistics will tell you that the most difficult part of any delivery cycle is this last mile delivery. But in this particular area, Amazon outperforms its competitors. Due to the size of its operation, one thing is clear, and it is that Amazon can demand significant savings from established shipping companies like UPS or DHL. In 2019, According to research conducted by financial juggernaut Morgan Stanley, he said that by 2022, Amazon will be dispatching 6.5 billion packages annually. I must say, that's a lot of products, and a lot of money too. As a result, Amazon is increasingly making the final mile itself. In some regions, up to 56% of Amazon packages are currently delivered directly by Amazon. How? Keep watching. Introducing Amazon Flex. 
Brought to the limelight in 2015, one of the remarkable ways Amazon uses to deliver its last mile delivery products is through Amazon Flex. Anyone can become a delivery driver as a result of this newly introduced feature as it enables drivers to accept directives just by using a smartphone. This indicates that you can receive your winter clothing from Amazon via last mile delivery as a top priority. Not in a crammed container, but in a personal taxi. Given that this recently developed method of last mile delivery is relatively lucrative, as these agents are reportedly paid up to $25 per hour, Amazon has offered for its staff to launch their own last mile package delivery business, as opposed to working full time in Amazon warehouses or its fulfillment centers. Jeff Wilkie, Amazon CEO of Worldwide Consumer, said in an interview with CNBC that over 16,000 employees have already taken us up on this. You now understand how quickly Amazon can send your package to you, which is by making sure that the item you desire is in stock even before you're aware that you need it being stored in a location that makes it simple for the picker to get it. And thanks to the helpful bots that assist with this operation as well as the last mile delivery drivers, your parcel can be delivered to you in a matter of hours. What's your opinion on Amazon's shipping system? If you like this video, make sure to click a card on your screen for more content like this.